Hey everyone, I'm Bobby Sylvester, and today I've got my top 10 sleepers of the 2019 fantasy baseball season. Let's start up at number 10 with Yusi Kikuchi, starting pitcher of the Seattle Mariners. The 27-year-old quote-unquote rookie wasn't as dominant as Otani or Yu Darvish in Japan, but he does have impressive stuff, and that should make him a similar fantasy asset to Zach Wheeler right away. With a 16th round ADP, that makes him an absolute steal in my book. And number nine is another starting pitcher. It's Freddie Peralta of the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, there's no guarantee Peralta is going to come out of camp with a job in the rotation, but if he does, I want him on every single one of my teams. Peralta was one of only 11 starters with a K rate over 30%, which was higher than Luis Severino and Steven Strasburg. Not only that, but he was unhittable too, allowing just a 177 batting average against, which was only second behind Blake Snell. My number eight sleeper is a familiar name. It's Miguel Cabrera of the Detroit Tigers. Cabrera has received MVP votes in all 14 healthy seasons of his career. And if he can stay on the field this year, there's no reason to expect him to hit south of 290, which is near impossible production to find late in drafts. Not only that, but he's also only two years removed from hitting 38 homers with 108 RBIs. There is big time upside with grabbing Cabrera in the middle of your drafts. We'll move back to pitcher at number seven, where I've got Alex Reyes of the St. Louis Cardinals. Apparently, Reyes is going to be ready to roll in April, and the Cardinals have made it clear they intend to have him in the rotation from the get-go. In 50 MLB innings, Reyes has a 1.44 ERA with loads of strikeouts. In fact, last season, he didn't give up a single run and only 10 hits in 27 innings before his injury. The ceiling is absolutely unlimited with Reyes. I've got another pitcher at number six. It's Tyler Glasnow of the Tampa Bay Rays. Speaking of dominant minor leaguers, Glasnow struck out 140 in just 93 innings with a 1.93 ERA in 2017. Now we saw glimpses of this domination from the 6'8 fireballer once the Rays acquired him from Pittsburgh last year. In that time, his whip was below 1.1 and his K rate was in the ace range at 29.1. Let's bounce back to the Cardinals at number five where I've got shortstop Paul DeYoung. Since joining the league, DeYoung has more homers than Carlos Correa despite fewer trips to the plate. In fact, he hits more homers per game than Javi Baez too. Our consensus projections love him at his current ADP this year if he can stay on the field this time around. At number four, I've got a closer. It's Trevor May of the Minnesota Twins. Some say Minnesota's closer job is still up in the air, which would explain May's ADP. But May was among the best relievers in baseball over the second half last year. He struck out 38% of his batters, tied with Edwin Diaz and Aroldis Chapman. And not only that, but his whip was .86, which was only bested by Craig Kimbrell and Sean Doolittle. Assuming he gets the job, he is going to be an absolute steal late in the drafts. Reds outfielder Matt Kemp comes in as my number three sleeper this season. Like Cabrera, Kemp has been excellent when he's healthy. Over the last two seasons, he averages 25 homers with 93 RBIs and a 283 batting average over 162 games. Granted, you probably aren't going to get 600 plate appearances, but the major ballpark upgrade should bump his production even higher. And if he stays healthy, maybe we're looking at 30 homers this time around. Back to starting pitchers, where at number two, I've got Los Angeles Dodgers' Ross Stripling. Among pitchers with at least 120 innings, Stripling was fifth in XFIP, which is an indicator of his incredible underlying metrics. With a full season in the rotation, we should see Stripling break out as 2019's version of Mike Clevenger. And the number one sleeper was Josh James of the Houston Astros, but now that he's injured, it opens up a spot for his teammate, starting pitcher Forrest Whitley. I'm not usually a fan of draft and stashed pitchers, but if you're going to bet on someone, it should be the top pitching prospect in baseball who just so happened to strike out 37% of hitters in AA. He may not be up right away, but when he does, I'm expecting Walker Buehler 2.0, and he has a lot more upside than Josh James. All right, guys, that's all for today's sleepers. Let me know what you think on Twitter at BobbyFantasyPro. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. Enjoy baseball.